Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Colleagues, you know how important the Arctic is to me and the many concerns I have about the connected issues Arctic inhabitants face — security, climate change, food security, health and culture, to name but a few. Inuit art and artists have been part of my life since my childhood, and my respect is huge for those who have heralded Inuit culture and life and who have expanded the awareness and knowledge in the South. The North lost a quiet, impassioned and staunch voice and supporter this past August when Fred Ford passed away in Winnipeg. Born in St. Catharines, Ontario in November 1949, it was after he completed high school and was backpacking through Europe that he began his quest to know his roots. In December 1980, Fred moved his young family to Baker Lake, Nunavut to learn more about his Inuit culture and family connections. He lived in Baker Lake until moving to Winnipeg in 2003. In Baker Lake, he managed the Igloo Hotel, served as executive director of Kivilik Inuit Association, and opened Kamanituk Fine Arts Gallery, taught in the schools, and lectured in Arctic College. Embracing all aspects of his culture while in the North, he continued to support it when in Winnipeg. I met Fred soon after he moved to Winnipeg. I can attest to his substantial work for the Winnipeg Art Gallery, its collections, hosting visiting Inuit artists, translating for them when needed, and as a board member, his tireless work towards the building and open opening of Kamiak, the gallery's new Inuit art center. Music was important to him too. He served on the board of Camerata Nova, which is now called Dead of Winter, and assisted them in inviting Inuit throat singers for their program. Fred was a founding board member in 2012, president and board chair of the Manitoba Inuit Association. It was an honor for me to attend the very special opening of their new space in 2019, in which many aspects of Inuit culture were presented. Fred's pride in his culture and heritage was palpable, as was his love of sharing the history and culture of the Inuit whenever he could. It was wonderful to see the dance in his face when he talked about what he loved most, his family, Inuit art, artists, and their creative expression. I will miss his depth of knowledge and his dedication to this important part of Canada. My condolences go to Gayla, his children, and beloved grandchildren. Rest in peace, dear friend. Thank you.